you remember right in Revelation, what is John seeing? What images, what, what, is, what is being revealed to him right now? What's, where, where is he at? The yeah, the throne of God, right? And who's around the throne? 24 elders. Yeah, so you have 24 elders. And who would that be? So, in Genesis chapter 49, we have the blessings of the tribes, right? Israel blesses his sons, and each, each son is given a specific blessing, right? So, I'll, I'll read this. You don't have to turn there. In Genesis chapter 49, when he blesses Judah, he says, Judah, your brother shall praise you. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's sons shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion's cub. From the prey, my son, you have gone up. He stooped down, he crouched as a lion, and as a lioness who dares rouse him. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until tribute comes to him. And to him shall be the obedience of the peoples. 
binding his foal to the vine and his donkey's colt to the choice vine. He has washed his garments in wine and his vesture in the blood of grapes. His eyes are darker than wine, his teeth whiter than milk. So Judah's going to, Judah, the tribe of Judah, is going to have what? The Messiah and kingship. Yeah, kingship. Yeah. Authority. Power. Right? This is the Messiah. This is the Messianic promise. Yeah. And so Judah, who is the crouched as a lion, the lion's club, this, this, this is a reference to Genesis 49, this blessing here. Right? And so we see this, this one that comes... The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. What's that a reference to? The lineage of David. What? The lineage of David. Yeah, the lineage of David, right? Because David was the one who was promised, you know, the Messiah would come in David's line. Right? We actually have another reference to this even today in our Old Testament reading, Isaiah chapter 11. So Isaiah chapter 11 says, There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse. Now why does it say Jesse there and not David? Who is Jesse? The father of David. Yeah, the father of David. It's still, it's still David's line. Yeah. A shoot from the stump of Jesse, a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. And the spirit of, Lord, of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see, or decide disputes by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his waist, faithfulness the belt of his loins, the wolf shall dwell with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, the calf and the lion and the fattened calf together, a little child shall lead them, the cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, the lion and the ox shall eat straw, that lion shall eat straw like the ox, right? What's this an image of? So not only do you have this righteous man coming from the stump of Jesse, but you also have this image of what is, what is it bringing with him? All of creation, which is at war with each other, right? Everything's devouring one another. Suddenly, what do you have? You have war. You have peace. You have peace, right? This righteous man, this root from the stump of Jesse, right? The root of David. It's not only bringing righteousness, he's bringing peace to all creation. So that's the... Uh, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered. When did he conquer? At the cross. So that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Right? So we have all this great imagery, all this Old Testament coming together of, all right, this is Christ, this is Messiah. All right, six through nine, real quick, please. Six to eight, sorry. And between the throne and the four living creatures, and among the elders, I saw a lamb standing, as though it had been slain, <coughs> with seven horns and with seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. All right. And so, so this lion club of Judah, this root of David, <coughs> he's seen as what? What does he look like? Not just a lamb. Yeah. Stand up, a lamb. So, how does, how does it phrase it exactly? I saw a lamb standing as though as it had been slain. Right? So it's a slain lamb, right? It's a slain lamb. But he's standing. He's alive, right? Which, of course, what, what should we be thinking of here? Yeah, the resurrected Jesus. Right? This is the resurrected Christ. Um, and 
he has seven horns. Why the seven horns? Does anyone know? I, th I think I mentioned this before. What's, what's the horn a symbol of? Power. Power. The horn is a symbol of power. If he has seven horns, he has complete, full power, right? Seven, a number of completeness. You know, the world was created in seven days. Uh, horns, a symbol of power. He has complete power, right? He has all authority. The seven eyes, which are the seven spirits, right, that is, he's not unrelated from the church. He's actually intimately involved with the church, right? All right. And he went up to the throne. He went up to the throne. What should he be thinking of here, too, if we're thinking of Apocalypse and the Son of Man and all of this? Victoriously 
come to this from, right? All right, any, any other questions or comments? We're out of time here. All right, thank you all for coming.